Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Black Panther, issue number 167. Let me tell you something right now. I was reading this comic, and first off, to get past the whole Punish, uh, Punisher thing, sorry, the uh, Thunderball thing that happened, um, it was it was cool. It, it's cool that uh, T'Challa knows not to actually trust this guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dr. Franklin, he knows. Don't trust this dude. But he doesn't have his powers. He's going to be self-serving, but he tells him what he needs to hear. And then he goes and he tells Shuri what she needs to hear and who knows actually what's in his heart. But he's probably telling more of the truth to Shuri than he is to, <laughs> to Thunderball. So I get it. It makes sense. Why, even though we don't know exactly what he's doing there, we know that it makes sense what he's doing there. That the king can't be everywhere at once. In fact, the only way he can be everywhere is by putting people where they belong, by finding the right people and putting them there. So he's going to have to probably have a spy watching over Thunderball to see, is he actually uh, investigating this matter properly and being as forthcoming as he possibly can? Because I, there's a good chance, a really good chance, that he's going to be trying to do something self-serving, like trying to get some of this uh, repartium, uh, this, this manufactured vibranium, uh, to, to, to actually use for himself, maybe a way to get his own powers back, you know, or to help Claw. That was his old teammate before. So yeah, that was good. But later on when Shuri takes him to meet these, oh my God, like ta, ta Coates, he just wrote a new mythology, <laughs> right? That's what, it's, what he just did. Uh, these, these beings who, <laughs> they're like basically African Valkyrie who ride on Black Panthers, uh, and it, it, you know what? It's more beautiful than I'm making it sound. It was amazing. But on top of that, the things that were said in here were, dude, I almost broke down because it was so beautiful. That, because not only do you see, like with me, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing not only the history, the idea that, that um, the Wakanda was never colonized, it was never conquered. It has, in fact, conquered. And there were a peoples there before, in fact, several peoples there before Wakanda. So all of these uh, solid sound holograms that, that came to attack them before, all of these were creatures that actually existed there before. And they somehow worked in peace with each other. And some way, somehow, the Wakandans wound up taking over. Maybe because Bast was a lot more violent than, you know, we, we, we'd believe. But He's, he's a tough SOB. What are you going to do? <laughs> she. Um, so, you know what? Like, the only way I can really look at this is as simple as this. I believe that come the future, we're going to see that this war that is happening with, you know, Claw is only the instigator for this. He's not the main picture here. He's not. He's going to be shown as the main picture, but what's happening in the background is eventually the way that Black Panther is going to win is by finding these old groups these old factions, these these peoples, and bringing them together and, and apologizing. Here's the deal. He's going to make, and, and there's going to be people all over the world who are going to explode when I say this, but he's going to make reparations. That's what I believe is going to happen. I see this setup right now. He's going to make reparations with these people. They're going to join, and Wakanda is going to be stronger than it's ever been before. And holy crap, I read this, and I swear to God... Ta-Nehisi Coates could write a laundry list, a freaking shopping list, eggs, milk, butter, but he would write it in a way that I would say, that's got to be framed. This guy, this guy's a genius. Actually, he really is a genius, but on top of that, like, he's a genius. This is amazing. Oh my God. So um, first off, let me give the grade. It's a freaking A+. Plus. Come on. <laughs> it's a freaking A+. Plus. This is the best comic I read this entire week. Just, oh my God. God, this is insane how good this is and everything that I'm seeing coming forward with. I, I, I hope that I'm, I'm right on at least half of these things. I'm just saying. But on top of that, there's that little reminder of that one single page in Marvel Legacy that had to do with the Black Panther and the planet, <laughs> the planet of Wakanda. Yeah, dudes, uh, apparently starting next issue, we're going to see Tanahisi working his magic <laughs> and bringing these guys in. On top of that, I also have to mention, I was, before I even realized that Brian Stelfreeze uh, had had done the pencils for the cover of this comic, I was like, dude, this is a beautiful cover. Like, who needs a, a you know, a variant cover? This is a beautiful cover right here. And it makes sense. <laughs> So, guys, absolutely fantastic comic. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, yes, jump on the series, but start from issue number one and ask questions. 
All right, start from issue one, start collecting all the trades or whatever. Read this series from the beginning if you're just jumping on and then keep reading because there's a lot here. You can't just jump in onto this series. You cannot. And even when you do, Tanahisi, he's a longtime comic fan. Uh, if you ever heard him talk about it, he's a longtime comics fan from way back in the days of the 7-Elevens having the comic books in, in on the shelves, the little spindle racks. So he draws on a lot of history. You're going to need to ask a lot of questions of Professor Bill or anybody who's around you, anybody in the net who who deals with the Black Panther, okay, and, and other characters around him, because he's going to draw in from a lot. There's going to be a lot of history. There'll be things that even if you're reading from issue one, you're not going to know unless you know some of the things elsewise. I, I might actually need to start consulting elsewise because there's some things I'm just like, um, when did this happen exactly? This is good. This is brilliant. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.